Hello guys, Voxel Pro here coming at you with a it's an unfocused rant, but it's a little bit more focused. Um I know that's an oxymoron and a contradictory or whatever have you, or whatever you want to say, but um first off I wanna say uh congratulations to the NBA team Golden State Warriors. I was rooting for them to win. Mm, and uh but uh yeah, you know, congratulations to them. Uh, it's you know, I lo I love that they win. Uh, I love that they won. Uh, I know, uh, I know, Cleveland is a is a tough team to beat, and so um, yeah. I mean, you know, you have LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, you know, Kevin Love on there, and you know that that's that, that's a team full of talent, you know, um, uh, but. Um, they definitely had their hands full. You know, you're looking at the new, I feel like when I'm talking about the Golden State Warriors, you're looking at the new Bulls, you know, you're looking at, you know, you're looking at the new Jordan, Pippen, and, 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 and Rotman, Rotman being, Rotman being Draymond Green. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you can keep whoever you want for Jordan and Pippen. I don't know. That's up to you. Anyway, um. But this focus, that's just a side note, but this this um, unfocused rant is more about E3 because after uh, all is said and done, E3, um, E3 has already came and passed, I should say, um, and I felt like it was abysmal, that it was sorry, that it was garbage, that it was weak, that it was soft, you know, I, I feel like that's what it was, um, but... The thing is, is that nobody, nobody had that hype period, you know, that had that announcement that was, uh, whether it was with the game or with the, you know, none, no, nobody had that moment of, of, you know, just nobody had that moment of of hype I you know it's already been said hype it's just that one two hit combo that punch it didn't have that kick to it you know um the the it's funny because what happened is is that they um uh, e3 kicked themselves in the butt with all these leaks that was coming out like a week or so early you know with all the you know stuff and the stuff that they had planned was just sorry it was just it was just weak it was soft you know um but i'll i'll give you an example okay far cry 5 if far cry 5 wouldn't oh, wouldn't have been leaked and would have actually been shown at e3 my bet is that people would have there would have been there would have been more of that kick, that punch, that hype feeling, more of it. Not necessarily saying that it would have happened, but it would have had more of it. If, uh, you know, if they would have just said, had a, you know, if Ubisoft wouldn't have had their own thing, you know, and or Square Enix or Bethesda or, you know, Bioware or whatever, when they had their own thing, y'all would they would have had some hype moments together because of the because of the you know stuff you know that was coming out you know Assassin's Creed Origins, but neither one of them could do it on their own. They it was it was abysmal, you know. Um, if far if you saw if you, I'm I'm telling you if you saw Far Cry Five. And Assassin's Creed Unity, uh, not Unity, that sorry game, um, but Assassin's Creed Origins back to back, y'all have been like, oh shoot, this is this is cool, but nobody even really cheered for Assassin's Creed Origins, even though they had a gameplay trailer, trailer, uh, Anthem, you know, from um, Bioware, you know, you know, people. That that wasn't that wasn't gonna get any applause because it was just doomed from the start because of their reputation is pretty much all but trashed, you know, due to the uh, due to Mass Effect Andromeda. Now, me personally, I like the game. 
Um, there were some things that I had a problem with as far as the game was concerned. Um, my, my most major one was, you know, not having that, um, that one gun that shows up in the cutscenes that you're able to use and yet you can't develop it and it's nowhere to be seen. Um, I didn't get that. Um, the facial animations, yeah, they were off and yeah, we could talk about this, that, and the other all day, but really how much am I focusing on the facial animations? Once they re once they released the patch, you know, the, that first patch to where it fixed some of that stuff, I wasn't really thinking about it. Yeah, the eyes did look weird when I first got it, you know, because I pretty much got it like a week after it came out. Either, no, no, no. A couple of days after it came out. If not, if not the day it actually came out, it was a couple of days after. Uh, but uh, that's the refrigerator if you're hearing that kind of like that hmm that you know started up anyway um it was just it was just it was just sorry it was just weak um if we was missing those those return titles you know what i mean by return titles i mean i mean like i'll say it like this remember back in e3 2014 remember e3 2014 when um <laughs> e3 2014 when microsoft had their press conference then all you saw was konami and then it was like what is this and then it was like a sandstorm and next thing you know it was somebody speaking and riding on a horse and it was uh, but you knew like you felt it like when you saw Konami, you felt it in your blood and guts. That was Metal Gear Solid 5, the Phantom Pain. You like you felt that. And that was the first time you seen them talk about um uh talk about the uh, CQC and um the dynamic CQC or or something like that. It might have been 2013, I'm not really sure. But uh but it was one of those E3s in the past, you know, it was either 14 or 13, I can't remember which. Um, but, but you like, you felt that it was Metal Gear Solid 5. People was hyped, people was like looking for it. It was like the gameplay video, the hemp snake jumping, you know, you saw snake jumping, you saw, you know, you saw him steal weapons, you saw the like, the cutscenes with him and Kaz Miller. And uh, you saw him riding in vehicles and stuff like that. And it was just so cool. You know, and he was in Afghanistan. And then you heard all this other stuff, you know, uh, riding on horses. And, like, you saw the gameplay videos that took place, like, you know, a day after that, you know, in the midst of E3. And that was just the first day, you know. And, and we didn't really get that. If you would have had return titles kind of on that caliber um and i know we'll never see another metal gear directed by kojima again in the near future unless something miraculous happens to where somehow he obtains the ip again and he and you know he wants to do something with it even if he does have the ip like i just don't know anyway so, so return titles, if, if, if there was a, something besides, you know, if they would have came out with the Knights of the Old Republic 3, people would have been shocked by that. If, uh, if they would have came out, which I know would never happen, but if they came out with a, uh, if, if Sony came out with a, another Infamous, if, if. Um, they would have came out with another kill zone, you know, if Microsoft had came out with another Halo trailer, you know, something, something along those lines, like those, like those major Xbox games that you was hoping for, you couldn't get a Gears of War because you already got that in, in like the past year, um, this last year, I think it was, but, um, and you weren't going to get that, but, um, 
any other major major um Microsoft or Sony franchises I wish you would have got those if they would if Square Enix you know would have showed off a trailer for um Sleeping Dogs 2 or whatever it would be called I'm not sure if they would call it Sleeping Dogs 2 but if they'd have called it Sl Sleeping Dogs Moving Up or something <laughs> that sounds like a sorry name but you know Sleeping Dogs something you know or some variation of it they they that would have gone crazy but they they would have needed all these return franchises that haven't been talked about if they if Sony would have made another resistance you know franchise if um I can I'm sorry I can only speak about Sony because I'm more I'm, I I I am more partial to Sony because I, I get more of their games um but I mean, even even if you want to talk about Microsoft, I mean, I'm sure they had they have some some other franchises that they could have that they could have worked with, you know. Um, but they they just didn't. If they released like an I don't know another Bioshock or something like that, I don't know. Um, uh, <laughs> you know. They would have been all right if if they if THQ would have came out with another Saints Row, you know, um, if they would have showed if they would have showed another trailer for oh that's what the what the other leak was, um, if they would have showed an, another tr uh, a trailer for um, Red Dead Re uh, Red Dead Revolver Two Red Dead Redemption Two, you know. Um, they they would have gotten some hype out of that but th like i said this this e3 was sorry it was just weak it, i i don't know what to say and the fact that you know you had these reporters and you know these reporters and media stuff media people you know on ign and you know and and, and game spot and the e3 streaming and all this other stuff even though you know jeff keely and them not necessarily him maybe him but not necessarily because i don't recall seeing him um i know he was there i just don't recall seeing him in the stream because i didn't really pay attention because all the games were weak uh <laughs> but um uh, if all those all all those reporters you know even the even the presenters i should say you know even the presenters and, and coupled with the uh media people who was you know doing the pre-shows and and everything like that they was talking about how excited they were for this that and the other and none of them games that they was talking about was hitting like that it wasn't hit. It didn't have that punch. It didn't have that punch as if you was gonna announce an if Hideo Kojima was gonna announce, you know, another Metal Gear Solid Six. You know, uh, I know that's not possible, but for for example, um, but it just didn't have that punch. It didn't have that kick. It didn't have that oomph. It it, it didn't have that strength. It was sorry. It was weak. It was abysmal. I can't say that enough. It was lackluster, low energy, and all of them had the unmitigated gall to sit there and say, I got goosebumps, or I, I'm so excited right now, I felt like I was on a roller coaster. All of them said that, and they, and they I can't believe it, because they actually said that with a straight face. They were telling each other that. They need to go into Hollywood, and because they're not that far away, you know, and, and they need to become actors, because... You know, they was just acting, as far as I'm concerned. None of it was exciting. None of it was... Now, maybe some of the games were exciting, you know? But it didn't have that level of excitement that they portrayed it had, you know? It, there were no crowds going crazy. At most, you had the golf clap, 
you know, you had to golf clap in some of the things. People was waiting for the Last of Us, tra- another The Last of Us trailer, or even a gameplay demo. They was waiting for that. The, uh, people from Bethesda was waiting. Uh, people who attended the Bethesda thing was waiting for a Fallout 5. And I, I, I get where you guys are coming from as far as, as far as fans. As it pertains to the fans, I get where you guys are coming from, but I also get where the developers are coming from too, because they just they just finished for what two years ago, and they was keeping out kicking out DLC, you know, for the next like you know year, you know. So essentially, they weren't even done with the game game. For like a full year yet before they moved on to something else and they're focusing on their modern community in which I have no I don't understand that creation kit studio that they was talking about because I'm not a part of that I'm not a modder I don't understand it I'm not going to pretend to understand it not because it's bad but because it doesn't pertain to me and I'm not interested in it it's just it's just not for me I don't like that I you know when you start to get in the stuff that I don't know about you know, when stuff breaks down, I'm going to be wondering what happened. Next thing you know, I, you know, I'm liable because I downloaded some mods. Now my trophies aren't available for when I pass certain things in the level. So now you want to come back to me and say, you downloaded the mods. So now I got to uninstall and reinstall the game and lose all my progress. But what you want to do that for me for? I, You know, so I, I, I just don't, I, I'm not with it, you know. Uh, I'm not with that modding stuff. Uh, you know, not that I'm against it. I'm just, I'm just not a proponent of it. I'm just not a proponent of it. I'll help you advocate it all day long, but I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not the person. I'm not that interested. It's, it's made for some people. <laughs> it's made for everybody, but it's made for some people. You know, this a lot of people are interested in it. I'm just not one of those people who are interested in it. Um, but I get where the developer is coming from is my point when it comes to Fallout 5, you know, um, we ain't, we probably ain't going to see one until next E3, if that, you know, um, but, you know, all these leaks, you know, with Far Cry 5 and, and Red Dead and all this other stuff, you know, Rockstar shot them uh, E3 shot themselves in the foot by like you know leaking all this Far Cry 5 stuff like a week or two beforehand and it just you know it could have been a great E3 if some people didn't like if some people didn't like reveal their games uh, beforehand but they did you know and so I don't know. I don't know. It was just, it was a bad E3. Um, but you know, I know nobody's really going to listen to this, but in the hopes that somebody random finds this, that knows somebody, that can talk to somebody, that can share it with somebody else who like is associated with all these third party developers and first party developers and even the head of Microsoft um, when it comes to the Xbox and the head of Sony when it comes to the PlayStation and even Nintendo and all of them. I'm sorry, I'm readjusting. Um, They need to learn how to get like nine games. That's it, nine games. Nine games for E3. They need to come together, work, and give the people what they want. Nine games. That's all you have to do. They have to set up this development cycle. Nine games. Three games. They, I should say nine games each. Nine games each for a development cycle. Three of them for one year's E3s. Three of them for the next year's E3s. And then and the, and the, and the third set of three for the the year after that uh, for the third year's e3 um and what i'm hoping what i'm hoping will happen is that they'll offset their development cycle so they can keep working on new games because the development cycle is like what two to three years essentially i mean what you had 
I'm, I'll use Metal Gear Solid as an example. You had Metal Gear Solid 4 come out in 2008. You had Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker come out in 2010. You know, and then you had Metal Gear, well, you know, this one's a slightly longer thing, but you had Metal Gear Solid, you know, um, um, what's it, you know, Ground Zeroes essentially come out early to 2014. So with that one, that's the exception. Um, but, you know, you had, okay, three to four years, three to four years. That's not the exception. That's more the rule than the exception. Um, but... But you see what I'm saying. So you had these sequels that would come out three to four years of each other. And if you guys could like space it out like and then sprinkle in some new IPs. That way you can always rent like you can always offset them for when you're showing at E3s. That way you always get that hype feeling like we have the new game right here. We have a new game right here. And, you know, we have a new game right here, you know. And, uh, and that's going to be mixed in with some of the classics. Like, how would you feel if, like, Detroit becoming human, that, that, that new game that's coming out, that was announced at last year's E3, how would you feel if that got mixed in, um, with, you know, with another new IP in addition to, like, Killzone, you know, uh, with a new Killzone game? Because everybody would go hype for Killzone at a Sony conference, and then, and then they would, uh, and then they would, you know, and then they would uh, get hype off the other game and say, "Oh, well, what's this game about?" And then when they finish that game, they leave it on a cliffhanger, and then they were like, "Oh, well, what's the second one?" And then you know they have the, the have it ready for they'll have that ready for the next couple of E3s and when they start developing again. So you know. I'm just, I'm just, you know, as, as a, as a person, as a person who's looking at that type of stuff, like this is the pattern, you know, that's a pretty good idea. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for listening to this kind of rant. I know it's super long, um, but I kind of had a lot of stuff to get them off my chest as far as these E3s. I know it wasn't that focused. I know. It sounded just like rambling, but, um, yeah, that's what it was. So, uh, thank you guys for watching and, uh, subscribe to Voxel Pro and I'll see you guys later.